The Bible says in the presence of the Lord there is fullness of joy. I pray that the joy of the Lord will be a portion even as I minister the word of God. Say my amen. amen. Say my amen. amen. Wow, wow, wow. Nimekuja juzi na nikikuja lazima nikuje nione dadi. Kwa sababu natokaka hapa na upako mwingine. Say my amen. Na wakumbusha tena mafuta ambayo na tea, the anointing that you respect will always open an avenue for you. Abia jirani yako ni kutii mafuta. Ni kutii mafuta. Bwana asifiwe sana. Mke wangu na watoto wamesema haleluya. Sema amen. amen. Na mke wangu na Bishop Elijah na wachungaji wengine wameshikilia kanisa. Nilikuja kwa muda mfupi kwa sababu nilikuwa na a, a business kidogo ya kikazi na familia yetu. Kwa hivyo narudi Jumanne na nikasema wiki ya mwisho nitakuja ni tap kutoka kwa baba yangu. Huyu baba anapokuja US siku hiyo hivyo tena. Napata muondoko mwingine. Sema amen. Akija lazima ninunue nyumba. Hiyo sasa ina, ina, lazima ninunue nyumba. Hey, hey. Ukitia ya mafuta umetii Mungu. Sitasema sana eh, kanisa limepanuka, tumejazika, tumelipa deni ya 1800 which is almost 88 million tumelipa tuna deni. Kwa hivyo sasa tunajipanga kugaramia kanisa letu la 10000 sita. Sema amen. Na bishop anakuja ninataka ni niandae watu wakuja tena waambariki katika jina la Yesu. Sema amen. Uh, ukituangalia katika runinga utatuona tuko YouTube, tuko Facebook na tunamfanya Yesu ajulikane kule. Tunajiita making Jesus known. Bwana asifiwe sana. So wacha leo niongee ni mambo ambayo Mungu amenisaidia ama nihubiri jambo Mungu amenisaidia. E, tumekuwa na siku kama na moja za maombezi alafu tukaenda siku zingine saba kwa hivyo Mungu ametufunulia. Ukiwa katika mlimo wa maombi unapata funuo. And, and I like wakati kiko katika mlimo wa maombi Mungu anipatia funuo ya neno lake. Sema amen. In, 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 mafundisho yetu si copyright. Sisi ya tuendagi yeti tunawanda TDJX niyo tunatafuta Tunaomba mungu anakupatia maneno Ukiwa na logo nya mzuri Akili mzuri sorry akili, Logo nya nikita utiturukana Ukiwa na akili mzuri Na uwe na roho wa buwana Utafpata ufunuwa katika jina la isu Leo wacha niongea kuhusu penaina Sema penaina Kwa yetu tunamuita penaina Lakini hapa mnaita penina Hallelujah Oh praise the name of the living God Penaina Na penaina ni muke wapili wa elkana Sema hallelujah Eh hey, ujumbe wangu nasema penaina wako leo awe springboard kupeleka pale kwingine. May your penaina in your lives be a springs a, a springboard to usher to your destiny destiny. Watu wengi sana wanadhara huyu penaina, lakini Mungu haleti mwanaume mwanamke ama mti yote katika maisha yako kama hana jambo fulani. Maandiko yanasema katika Samuel wa kwanza mstari wa kwanza nitasoma yangu ni ya kizungu, yako ni ya kikuyu itasema vile vile Kiswahili kikalenje itasema hivyo hivyo. Naenda haraka kwa sababu sitaki kupoteza wakati. Nikiwa hapa katika mafuta ya bishop na heshima sana. First Samuel chapter number 1 and verse number 1. The Bible says now there was a certain man of Ramathain, Zophin of the mountains of Ephraim, and his name was Elkanah, the son of Joh Joharam, the son of Elihu, the son of Tau, the son of Zav, an Ephraimite, and he had two wives. I am not yet propagate for two wives. Siku hapa nitangaze lazima uwe na wake wawili, ama waume wawili. Kwa hivu natangaza tu, hili kwa ni makosa. Two wives, the name of one was Hannah, and the name of the other was Penina. Penina had children. But Han had no children. This man went up from the city in yearly to worship and sacrifice to the Lord of hosts in Shiloh, house of prayer. Also, the two sons of Eli, Elphine and Phinehas, the priest of the Lord, were there. Number four. And whenever the time came for Elkanah to make an offering, he would give portions to Penina, his wife, and to all other sons and daughters. But to Hannah, he would give a double portion, for he loved her. Although the Lord had closed her womb. Although the Lord had closed her womb. Kwa hivyo si penina alikuwa mefunga tumbo ya ana. Sema amen. Although the Lord had closed her womb. Kwa hivyo sa zingine muna uriza ka penina nini? Mura ka penina kirimwe. Muna uriza ka nini na eha kufunga tumbo ya ana. Sema amen. Let's just continue and finish this scripture. But Hana... Um, although the Lord had caused her womb And her arrival also provoked her severely To make her miserable Because the Lord had closed her womb Because the Lord, number two Had closed her womb Say my amen Say my amen Nataka mushike point hapa Penina 
hakuwa na uwezo wa kufunga tumbo ya hana lakini Mungu alileta jambo hili ili wewe uende kwa level nyingine katika maisha yako kuna penina wengi wanakusonga songa lakini penina aliye maisha ni mwako atakuwa springboard ya kwenda kwingine sema amen so it was yelled by Ia when she went up to the house of the Lord that she provoked her therefore she wept bitterly and did not eat Mandiko anasema mwanamume huyu alikuwa anaitwa Elkana alikuwa na wake wawili mmoja alikuwa Hana mke wa kwanza na wa pili alikuwa Penaina mke wa pili Mandiko anasema Penaina alikuwa na watoto lakini Hana hakuwa na watoto eh hey, hakuwa na watoto Penaina alikuwa na watoto kwa hivyo ikawa ni wakati wa Penaina kumjekeli kumprovoke Hana praise the name of the living God I pray that the Penaina in your life will provoke you to go to another level and love the Lord so much Penaina aliye maisha ni mwako akusonge kabisa uache kupigana na Penaina uende katika level nyingine maandiko yanasema mwanaume huyu alikuwa anaenda kila mwaka kutoa dhabihu katika mlingo kule Shiro na anapoenda kule Shiro anatoa sehemu yake ya kwanza anampatia Penaina na watoto wake lakini kwa Hana anampatia sehemu maana alimpenda sana praise the name of the living god maana alimpenda sana nataka niseme lakini elekana hakuwa na uwezo wa kumpatia huyu mke wake watoto natangaza leo niseme kile bwana yako hawezi kukupea Mungu na kupelewa haleluya kile serikali hawezi kukupea na Mungu akupia sema haleluya kile familia yako hawezi kukupea na Mungu akupia sema haleluya kile watoto hawatakupea na Mungu akupia sema haleluya kuna mambo mengine hayapatikani kwa mwanadamu lakini Mungu ameficha ili kwamba upate zahabu yako sema amen kwa hivyo Hana akamlilia Mungu akamlilia Mungu akamlilia Mungu lakini mwaka huu alipoenda mlimani sema amen sema amen Alipoenda mlimani jambo la kwanza Hana hakupoteza wakati wake kubishana na hii shaitani. Maana kuna pende nyingi unakuwa kama shaitani. Wakristo wamepoteza wakati mwingi wakibishana na shaitani. Unapoteza energy yako kubishana na shaitani. Hana did not argue with Penina. Alijua mahali atapata msaada wake. Naomba katika jina la Yesu usipoteze wakati na wanao kuzungumzia. Enda kwa Bwana. Suruhisho lako liko kwa Bwana. We have wasted a lot of time arguing with Penina. Tunaaju na Penina tunakosa mwelekeo. Hana hakuaga na Penina. Hakusema utanijua mimi ni mke wa kwanza hata kama sina watoto. Mimi ninapendwa. Ha ha. Alijua Mungu ndiye ameziba tumbo yake. Matatizo mengine unapitia si kwa sababu ya jirani yako ama ndugu yako ama familia yako. Yamefanyika ili Bwana atukuzwe katika maisha yako. Sio mambo yote unapitia yanakuwa ni laana. Mungu anataka kujitukuza na maisha yako. Kwa hivyo kazi yako ni kulenga na kumwangalia Mungu. Daudi akasema, nitaangalia mlimani mahali msaada wangu utokako. Do not waste time with Penaina. Hizo energy za kubishana na kuambiana peleka kwa maombi sema amen. Hana akajua siri moja, sitabishana na huyu mwanamke, sitabishana na huyu mwanamke, nitaenda kwa Bwana. Maana mume wangu hajanipa mtoto. Mungu ndiye anaweza fungua itumbu. Haleluya. Penaina hana uwezo wa kufunga ma, kufunga baraka zako. Penaina hana uwezo wa kunyima baraka zako. Lakini labda imeshikiliwa na Mungu, ili siku Mungu atakubariki, watu waseme kuna Mungu ambaye unamwabudu. Natangaza kile ambacho kimefunguliwa, si Penaina amefunga, ni Mungu atukuza katika macho yako. Sema amen. John 1:19. Naenda haraka sana. Kuna mwanaume mmoja alizaliwa John, John 1:9. John chapter number 1 verse 9. Yesu anatembea mtaani anahubiri. Anahubiri ufalme wa Bwana. Anatembea kihubiri. Wanafunzi wake wawili wanakutana na kijana mmoja aliyezaliwa kipofu. Sema kipofu. Aliyezaliwa kipofu. Na wale wanafunzi wakamuuliza katikati ya huyu kipofu na wazazi wake ni nani aliyetenda dhambi. Yesu akaza he he mnafikiria kama wanadamu. Mnafikiria kama wengine. Huyu kijana alizaliwa akiwa kipofu ili makusudi ya Mungu yatukuzwe. Haleluya. Sio mambo yote yanapitia umerogwa. Mengine umeshikilia kwa muda kiasi ili Bwana atoe baraka watu waseme kuna Mungu wa dada fulani, kuna Mungu wa dugu fulani, kuna Mungu wa ule kanisa. Wakati wanafunzi walishangaa, Yesu akasema kijana analetwe. Yesu ndiye alikumba wewe. 
Maandiko yanasema in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God. So mnaomnaga Mungu na Yesu hawaachani ni kama mayai unaona yai. The egg ya, yai iko na sehemu tatu. Kuna kikorogosha sema kikorogosha. Ama kikorogosha sema hiyo yote. Na kuna ile yero yero staff, kuna ile ile yero staff unaiona. Na kuna the yolk. Kwa hiyo yai halitaitwa yai kama halina sehemu tatu. Kwa hivyo Mungu Baba mwana na mtakatifu ni sehemu moja sema amen. Na Mungu anakaa katika kiti cha enzi ni kama komana ni kama anayetawala anayesema. Anaambia Yesu lete lete hii mchanga alimwambia Yesu lete hii mchanga maana Yesu alikuwa kwa mbele ya wewe kuzaliwa. Alikuwa kwa mbele ya watu wengine. Isaya anasema tisa and to us a child is born. The Old Testament and to us a son is given. So Jesus was there before the manifestation of anything that that happened on the world. Bible inasema Yesu alikuwa kwa mbele na yeye ndiye aliumba yule kijana maana yeye ni kama servant. Yesu ni servant. Aliambiwa na baba lete mchanga, tengeneza miguu ya ujamaa, weka macho na mikono na mapua. Lakini makusudi akafanya kimakusudi akafunika mahali hapa pa mwanadamu hakuweka macho. Ili atapokuja miaka elfu mbili atukuze baba yake. Sema amen chochote unachopitia tabadilisha na kiwe kitakumtukuza bwana usiona ke tukurauniwa na kudharauliwa na kulogwa ha ha sema amen kwa hivyo Yesu anapokuja wanafunzi wanasema katikati ya haya huyu ni nani aliyetenda dhambi Yesu anasema hakuna yote aliyetenda dhambi lakini mimi nikana kwamba niliwacha nimefunika ili baada ya kuja ulimwanguni vidhihirishe makusudi ya Bwana maandiko yanasema Yesu akapiga magoti akatupa mate kwa mchanga utoto mambo yale yanaonekana ni kitoto kwa mwanadamu kwa Mungu ni haleluya maudo mara moja kagane wana kule adwa the kwega indeko kwa shida haleluya kuna mwanaume bishop alikuwa anaitwa Elisha. I think Elijah. Isaya. Isaya aliambiwa na Mungu akande mkate chapati na mavu ya ngombe. Wewe utasoma hiyo. Akaambiwa ukande mkate na mavu ya ngombe. Yale maneno yanakanaga kijinga kwa mwanadamu kwa Mungu yanamtukuza. Mwanaume mwingine Jeremaya aliambiwa na Mungu tembea Yerusalemu miaka mitatu ukiwa uchi. Haya ya ukiwa uchi miaka mitatu. Ukisema ga Yesu anakuja watu waokoke Mungu anaweza kutumia wewe kwa wanadamu waona ni aibu lakini unatukusa Bwana Yesu akasema akasema akapiga magoti akatupa mate hiyo ni utoto kwa wale wako hapa wazee na walikoma kuna mamba ulipitia ukiwa kijana kumbuka ulikuwa unarogota kamchanga hivi unaweka kamchanga hivi unafanya ndimu alafu unafanya chururu unatengeneza kanyungu kama utapitia haya utapitia kama ukufanya hii utoto ujikuta usikupale pale sema amen unaumba kanyungu na Yesu akaja chini ile udongo alitumia kumuumba huyu kijana akadhirisha kwamba bado nina nguvu ya uumbaji i pray that the lord is going to continue to create some new things for you in the name of jesus whatever god is waiting to give you may he create something new in your life mungu bado ako uwezo wa kuumba Dwe sio mwana ke not robi roma odo. Hakiri jero haleluya. Wera mwero haleluya. Siana jero haleluya. Because God is in the business of creation. Na ndio alipiga magoti, akatema mate, akachanganya udongo. Akapaka yule kijana. Akamwambia sasa tuende Silaom. Na alipoenda Silaom, akafunguka macho. Yesu alikuwa amemhifadhi yule kijana kwa maka yake yote ili akija ulimwenguni afanye makusudi ya Bwana. Sio dhambi mama yake alikuwa amefanya. Sio dhambi kijana alifanya ni kwa sababu Mungu alitaka atukuzwe. Naomba kile unapitia kitukuze Bwana. Na utoke na ushindi. Naomba kile unapitia kimtukuze Bwana na utoke na ushindi. Lakini usibidiane na penaina. Praise the name of the living God. Bwana asifiwe. Kwa hivyo penaina alimtukia Hana, alimprovoke but penaina Hana did not waste time with penaina maandiko yanasema wakati wa mwisho aliposhika signo si penaina amenyima mtoto akaenda akakula chakula sawa sawa akakunywa sawa sawa akaenda kwa hekalu mahali alizoea lakini wakati huu ako serious kuna wakati unatakiwa uende uwe serious na Mungu kabisa ujitolee kwa Mungu mpaka Mungu aone kila kitu umetoa ni kwake bwana asifiwe sana Hana akaenda kanisani alipoenda kanisani akapiga magoti akaanza kulia 
katika kulia kwa kuhudhika sema amen Naomba penina aliye maisha ni mwako akutoke uende kanisani. Penina aliye maisha ni mwako akutume umpende Mungu sana. Maana hana si kawaida. Ilimbidi sasa aone sina haja na Penina. Nimejua ya kwamba baraka zangu zinatoka kwa Bwana. Kwa hivyo Penina alimfanya Hana aende kwa Mungu zaidi. Kwa hivyo Penina ni kitu kizuri. Kama kuna kitu kitatokezea kwa maisha yako kikupeleka kwa Mungu zaidi kurotu ikagu haleluya kurotu ikagu haleluya so penaina provoked hana and because of the provocation hana akaenda kwa Mungu akiwa na imani kali sana ni nani alituma hana aende kwa Mungu sana si ni penaina kwa hivyo penaina si mbaya amekuja awe springboard yako ya kupeleka mahali kwingine penaina is like a springboard that will usher you into your destiny sema amen lakini usipoteza wakati na penaina maana penaina hana uwezo wa kukunyima maraiti yako. Penaina anataka akusukume, umjue Mungu na umjue Mungu na umjue Mungu kabisa. Sema amen. Kwa hivyo tusisemage tu pena kila Biblia ina wakati wake. Kila jambo lina wakati wako. Mungu anataka ajitukuze kwa kile unapitia. And you know a situation in your life has an expiry date. Kile unapitia kina kina expiry date. There's nothing in this world that is permanent. Hakuna kitu kinaishi miaka na mikaka lazima kitafika mwisho. Na maandiko yanasema Hana akaenda katika kanisani makati mtumishi wa Mungu Ela na hudumu akakuta mwanamke analia machozi ma, machozi mengine hajaona tena. Maana Hana alikuwa anaenda kanisani lakini labda alikuwa na mzaha, alikuwa hajipeani kabisa. Ukiingia kwa Mungu ingia 100%. Ukiomba Mungu amba nikana kwamba anakuja kesho. Ukitumia tumikia Mungu, tumikia Mungu nikana kwamba anakuja kesho. Sema amen. Maana hujui kesho kwa namna gani. But this time around, Hana goes to church and she's very serious. Maana ameshika signal. Wakati mwingine hakuwa na kura. Lakini wakati wa ameshika signal, leo ni mimi na Mungu wangu. Akaja kanisani na maandiko yanasema Ela yalipokuwa amekaa pale na alizoea kumuona Hana. But this time Anaona hana anaongea kwa moyo, anaonda kwa moyo, machozi na makamasi yanatiririka, maana amejipeana kwa Bwana. Maana penaina sio shida tena. Mungu ndiye atakuwa zawadi yake. Mpaka mtumishi wa Mungu anamwangalia anasema, "Mwanamke, mbona leo umekuja umekunywa mvinyo? Hii pombe yako tuliza. Umekunywa sana." Mama anasema, "Sijalewa. I am a sort of woman, but other times hakuwa na mna hiyo." You know who you penaina amefanya Hana aliye kilio cha kuguza moyo wa Bwana. Huyu penaina amefanya Hana aende kwa Mungu kwa fujo, sema kwa fujo. Kuna wakati unaenda kwa Mungu kwa fujo, unasema Lord God, this is my inheritance. I need my inheritance. Nataka ulithi wangu. Na Mungu anaona huyu mwanamume mwanamke anajua mimi ni nani. Anajua mimi ni nani. The people that know their God, they shall be strong and do exploit. You must make God know whatever you need is with God. But God want to see you serious. God want us to be serious. Whatever we say we need to perform it. And then the man of God said, Niko hapa nikubariki. Nenda sasa na upakee kile unachotaka. Mambo haya yote yameletwa kwa sababu ya penaina kumnyururia Hana. Kwangu mimi nakubali penaina amenipeleka kwa Mungu zaidi naomba penaina aliyo maisha ni mwako akupeleke kwa Mungu zaidi penaina wa biashara yako akupeleke kwa Mungu zaidi uache kuona adui hata kama wanauza mbele yako aenda kwa Mungu akupeleke zaidi kwa hivyo penaina alimtoa Hana katika raw position of eh, 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 kudharauliwa akamrusha maisha ni mwako naomba chochote unapitia kiwe ni springboard ya kupeleka katika mambo yako sema amen let this this thing you are going through even ni kama a, a destiny connector kwa hivyo penaina si wabaya wanakuja kutuchokora kwa sababu si penaina alifunga tumbo ya hana lakini alikuja kwa maisha ya hana ili umpende zaidi Mungu sema amen number 2 kuna mwanaume mmoja alikuwa anaitwa Yusufu soma katika kitabu cha Genesis 37 ndio tasoma lakini natukuja kwa Genesis 47 maandiko anasema Jacobo alikuwa na wana na wawili And a penaina can be more than one person. Penaina can be more than a family. Penaina can be anybody anywhere na wao wengi. Sasa tunaona Jacob naye amepewa watoto wawili. Lakini kuna mtoto mmoja ambaye Mungu amembariki. Katika familia 
kuna kuwaka na Joseph wao sema amen omoshi ndio leka Joseph kao labda unazikuwa rasticle lakini wewe ni Joseph kwangu mimi kwetu mimi mimi niko namba 4 wanaume wanaume wengine watatu wa kombe yangu na ninajikuta mimi ni kama ndio first bull ninafanya mambo ya nyumbani nashughulikia mzazi nashughulikia wengine because in each and every family there must be a Joseph na Joseph wapendagwi sana lakini neema ya Bwana the grace of God and the anointing of God is always with the Josephs praise the name of the living God kwa hivyo ukikuta mimi ni Joseph wacha kunimaliza maana labda nimewekwa pale niwe msaada wako Joseph anatumwa na baba yake kuangalia ndugu zake waliyekuwa analisha malishoni. Na Joseph kitambo alikuwa ameota ndoto akiwa katika shamba na ndugu zake na walikuwa nakusanya ngano na hiyo ngano ikawa imefungwa na Joseph akasema nilikuwa niliota ndoto ya kwamba ngano yangu ya, ya ni mkanda wa ngano yangu ulikuwa mkubwa kuliko nyinyi. Akaambia ndugu zake ya kwamba niliota ndoto nyote mkininamia. Wakasema we unataka kusema tutakuinamia wewe? Hawa ni mapenina sasa kumi, mapenina kumi tena. Ule alikuwa ni mmoja hawa ni kumi. Sema amen. Sema amen. Akaota ndoto nyingine, akaona mwezi na jua na nyota zinamuinamia. Mwezi ni mama yake, jua ni baba yake na nyota zote kumi ni ndugu zake. Sema amen. Sitima or sitima sema amen. Satan is a destructor. Na wakati mwingine amesema don't argue with the devil. Don't use your energy to argue with the devil. Devil is a devil and is a dead devil. Satan ndio kidu wewe obeyi haleluya. Anakuja tu ku twist your mind. Kwa hivyo saa zingine wacha kushuruka na hata sitajaki satani sana ni kama ku exult. Saa zingine usitaji satani sana. Taja Mungu mara mingi. You know when you speak the word of God, speak the name of God. It, there is power. Bwana asifiwe sana. There is power. So Isaac uh, 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 Joseph wanaenda kwa baba yake anamwambia now this time nimeota ndoto nyingine nimeona mwezi na jua na nyota zikininamia baba yake akamwambia unataka kusema utatutawala lakini baba yake manake alikuwa ni mtu wa Mungu akaweka kwa mfuko akasema i know what i am know sasa anambia but uh, uh, Joseph enda kwa ndugu zako wapelekee chakula malishoni wanapomwona anakuja wanasema the dream is coming That word alone is a sign of they did not like him. Mwana anayotandota anakuja. Waka conspire wamuue. Sema amen. Sema amen. Mudhuri duga amen na nikuka kutweka guo. Waka conspire wamuue. Lakini katikati hawa kumi, kuna ni peni na kumi, ni peni na kumi, lakini kuna kamoja kana huruma. Rupe ni akasema kwa nini tumuue ndugu yetu mwage damu na ni ndugu yetu? Kuna shimo hapa tumweke ndani. Tuone hiyo ndoto zake itaenda wapi? Sasa zingine usiabega watu ndoto yako. Nimekuja juice bishop. Na tulikuwa na shamba nimesema mimi kama 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 the, 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 the Joseph of my family. Na tumeuza hiyo shamba. Nilikuja kwa sababu ya hiyo. Nikabie ndugu zangu mali yao. Nigeza matia kutida makija. Eh hey, bishop, ma, mtoto wetu amekosa shule. Ile shamba tutauza lini na wachotea ati watanilipa. Eh hey, bishop, eh hey, nasikia kakuo kaingene kala durai. Nidero kadi mwa na wachotea. Hata sasa ingine si ugonjwa ni kunikula tu niko US. Nikaamua hizi protein tutauza sasa. Delasha ya ngendo bishop you know ngendo. Ngendo akanua protein 4.8 million. Na akanipea hizo pesa. Nikakuja nikaambia ndugu zangu hizi pesa zote zimeletwa. Na nimekuja mugawane na mulilipe deni yangu. Nimewashughulikia nime sana. Mimi ni Joseph wa kwetu. Maandiko anasema na nikawaambia this time around kwa sababu nilikuja kwa sababu biashara yenu at least mnidulishie katikiti nusu hivyo. Hao ni majo, hao ni mapeni na wengine. Mandugu zangu ni mapenai na wengine. We nikafanya makosa bishop. Nikaonyesha nika kanisa ya ngambo na nyumba zangu na kila kitu. Kumbe kuna uchoyo inakuja. Eh? Hey, this time around nimekuja ni Mungu tu amenzuia. Ndugu zangu kuna wengine wamekuja wame kwangu na kisu. Wanaita wanyinyi wana, wana, daga, alikuwa anakuja na daga. Anasema nitadaga mtu lakini Mungu ananizuia. Pen, eh, eh, Joseph wanadharauiwa sana. Lakini hawatakuva maana hao ndio wataokoa ulimwengu. You may be the Joseph of your family. Nakupa nguvu na uwezo tulia pale maana wewe ndiye Mungu ameona sawa sawa. Your brother may be head go lakini wewe Mungu amekusha ule mkubwa. Sasa wakanishughulikia sana. Na wakanipatia kila mtu 20,000 ya kurudisha tikiti. 
nilipowaagaia zile pesa almost 350,000 kila mmoja the next day wanakutana wanaume wawili wale wakubwa wanasema huyu jamaa alituaitisha pesa kwa sababu zilikuwa kwa bank tunataka pesa zetu na nimewapatia kila kitu kumbe nilifanya makosa bishop kupeleka hapa kwa ile nyumba kwa ile kwa ile mzingi ulimwangalia mafuta tayari gorofa ni ya pili wameona hawajaona eh na nimewanulia makuku na masoda na madhwiti na makeki wameshiba wako sawa wako sawa lakini kuna roho ya uchoyo ama wivu sasa mande naletewa naambiwa ati ndugu yangu mkuu anasema tukutane tuongee. Kumbe wanataka kuniambia ulitutishia ulitutisha 20,000 kwa sababu zilikuwa kwa account yako. Actually nimeamua nitarudishia hawa zote. Uh, the 100,000 kwa sababu mimi nimebarikiwa zaidi ya 20,000. Baraka zetu hazionekanagi ati na manyumba. Baraka ya kwanza ni afya ya mwili na sound mind. Hakuna utajiri mwingi kama kutajirika katika kimwili na kiroho na akili yako iko sawa sawa. Haufikiri kama saitani. Bwana asiwe sana. Joseph anawekwa kwa shimo atiakwishe. You cannot kill any dream. A dream is valid. I pray that your dream is going to be valid. It may turn but it come to pass. Nimesema ndoto yako lazima itatimiza. Wewe shikiria Mungu wachana na penaina, mapenina wewe shikiria Mungu. Ndoto yako itatimia. Na Yesu ataruji kama hiyo ndoto ijatimia. Because kama hiyo ndoto imetoka kwa Mungu, lazima atimize kama Yesu hajakuja. Kama uliambi utaolewa utaolewa kama Yesu hajakuja. Kama uliambi utajenga nyumba utajenga kama Yesu hajakuja. Whatever you need from the Lord before he comes uta receive. Just thank the Lord. Stay in the day of the Lord. Love the Lord with your heart with your mind and your soul. Penda Mungu mpaka na makucha yako mpaka na eh hey, penda Mungu mpaka na tumbo yako yote. Maana Mungu anataka aliyempenda. If you love the Lord God cannot withhold anything from you. Our business is to love the Lord. Penda Mungu paka watu waseme umegoroka lakini umeroka katika Bwana. Praise the name of the living God. Maandiko yanasema Ruben yakasema tumue kwa nini tumweke mahali hapa ndani? Tuone ndoto zitaenda nyamna gani? Shida ilikuwa ni kuambia ndoto. Na mimi nimepata shida na ndugu zangu kwa sababu ya kuonaacha tu nyumba ninajenga. Kanyumba yangu nimejenga. Saa zingine tuliza. Wacha aonage mapenzi yangu maisha ni mwako. Bwana Wakaona sasa baada ya kumweka pale wale walikuwa wanaenda kufanya biashara za kuuza spices the Ishmaelites wakasema tuuze huyu dugu yetu ili tuone atafanya nini wakamuuza praise the name of the living god let's go to genesis as i continue you know finishing this uh, this uh, scripture Le- oh my internet imeenda internet okay imerudi tena let's go to uh, genesis chapter number uh, 45 and verse number 1 this is what joseph said So kuna penina ule wa kwanza lakini hawa ni penina kumbi because Benjamin alikuwa amebaki nyumbani na baba yao. Baba yao alimpenda Yusufu sana mpaka kamtengezea kakoti kama kara mingi. A, a, a coat of many colors. I am not going to talk about the colors because each and every color has a meaning. But I'm talking about the love of a father to a son. Kwa nini maana Yusufu alipatikana katika uh, baba yake akiwa na umri akiwa mzee sana. Alimzaa akiwa mzee sana. Yusufu alikuwa mtoto wa recho. Bwana asifiwe sana. Na leo alikuwa na watoto wengine. Maandiko yanasema <coughs> waliposema wamtoe pale acha nisome. Then Joseph could not 45 uh, Genesis chapter uh, uh, 45 and verse number 1. Then Joseph could not restrain himself before all those who stood by him. He cried out, "Make everyone come out from me." So no one stood in him while Joseph made his even known to his brothers and he said and he wept and the egyptians and the house of pharaoh had it then joseph said to his brother i am joseph does my father still live so number one, walimuuza wakafikiria kimeumana na alipoenda kule story short akawa mke wa farao anamtamani because katika jisu, katika kila eh, josephu ama hana kuna utakatifu wa bwana kuna mafuta ya bwana kuna lili wa gai ukora kwa dhini watu joseph sema amen Alipoenda mke wa na mtamani lakini kwa sababu alimpenda Mungu unajua tofauti hapa ni kupenda Mungu ukipenda Mungu utajikuta huko kwa dhambi ukipenda Mungu kabisa Mungu atakungoa katika madhambi akatoroka katika nyumba ya farao naenda haraka alipoproka mke wa farao kasema alitaka kuninyita kuni, kiahinya maana kote ilibakia mahali pale saitani ni saitani 
na anaingia kwa kwa, kwa mwili wa mwanadamu lakini kwa sababu Yusufu lazima atimize makusudi ya Bwana kwa maisha ya ndugu zake akawekwa ndani miaka miwili akakaa huko akaota ndoto mtu fulani akasema utarekeshewa kazi yako story shot nasema lakini farao akaota ndoto akaona ngombe saba wa nono sema wa nono na wengine saba wa, wa konde praise the name of the living god akaona wale walikuwa wa konde wamekula wale wa nono lakini wakaonekana kama hawajakula kitu ukibarikiwa wacha kufisha sema umebarikiwa wengine tumbarikiwa lakini tusaki tusaki kusema tumbarikiwa ni daradhi mtu kadi muradhime todo mtu muradhime na muradhime na dagirumeka haleluya Hey! Ukibarikiwa onyeshana umebarikiwa. Wengine tumebarikiwa lakini kwa sababu tuna mentality ya kutokutoa, tudhiaga watu mahana tali, matali ya radhime. Ngombe saba wakakula wale wanono na wakaonekana majakula kitu. Ukikula neno na Bwana onyeshana umekula neno na Bwana. Ukikula ugali onyeshana umekula ugali. Eh, hey, toa toa onyeshana umebarikiwa. So the Bible says. Piga hizo makofi. Bwana asifiwe sana. Yusufu akatabuli doto, akawa namba 2 katika nyumba ya mfalme. Akawa namba 2. Na mfalme akampatia signet ring, akamwambia chochote utakachofanya maana ya hiyo ndoto. Maana alimwambia miaka saba kutakuwa na utera wa chakula, miaka saba kutakuwa na uhaba wa chakula. Kwa hivyo akaweka chakula nyingi sana na ilipofanyika hivyo akaweka gara chakula nyingi sana. Wana wa Israeli kukawa na njaa kule Canaan. The reason why the Israeli came back to Egypt kukawa na njaa kule Canaan ndugu zao hawa wakatumwa na baba yao and then maana kole ya kole ya misi ni kwa kuena fodhi haleluya na hiyo fodhi imekuja kwa sababu ya mmoja anaitwa Yusufu waliemuuza hawa penina walikuwa wanafikiria wanafanya kitu kingine waliemuuza walipokuja hapo ndio maandiko yamesema ndugu zake walipokuja hawamjui maana yake alikuwa mdogo lakini wao wana, wana, alikuwa mdogo lakini yeye anawafahamu walienda kwao akiwa wakiwa wamezeeka lakini yeye maana alikuwa mdogo alijua huyu ni kamau huyu ni gonjo huyu ni waruguru geke nike kuka ajura huo aliwajua wote praise the name of the living god akawajua akauliza akaambia wamisri wa, wa tokeni sasa ni mimi na familia yangu na akalia machozi ya kugileka maana walifikiria watamuua kumbe alienda mbele yao ili awe msaada kwa wao Penina anaweza kuwa msaada kwako. Mali haleike kitu hewa. Haleluya. Duga lega haleike kitu hewa. Mali natupangagwa hapo sio point yangu kangaga. Penina must have thrown you somewhere but God has a good plan for you. Praise the name of the living God. Mali kwa nasema tokeni nje na huyu Joseph wakalia sana. Alipo kauliza pa is my father favorite moyo wakastuka wakastuka mapeni na kumi wako hapo walifikiri wamemuua wakastuka todo haleke getu hego wakasema amen is my father alive wakastuka haka nika jua devu kalega hitu akawa embrace jabura kwanza usiwe mtu wakujiripisa todo na hana aga ya natuwa na tuge ukira penina derehe ilie shida ni kuwaga kama mkristo ujiripise mimi si jaribisha kwa mandugu zangu hawa nimeambia Mungu tengenyesha akili yao waokoke maana wako wako na empty empty akili hawana 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 akili ya Mungu ukiona mtu anakusudia maneno ameingiwa na shetani na hana Mungu ndani yako maana Mungu hazi katika nyumba moja na shetani sema amen maandiko anasema akawaambia watoke akawaambia is my father alive this is the word that he said Joseph said to his brothers i am Joseph does my father still live but his brothers could not answer him they were perplexed wali stupa maana walifikiria atakuta mtu mwingine this guy was big number two, prime minister of egypt alikuwa mtu mkubwa maana baraka za bwana zinafuataka wale wana hawana haja na na mapenina wana haja na mungu usipoteza wakati wako na kuagi baselessly use your energy to glorify the name of the lord use your energy to thank god use your energy to bring the name of the lord uh, lifted high Mandiko anasema then Joseph um, <clears throat> I am Joseph does my father see but his brothers could not answer him for they were dismayed in his presence and Joseph said to his brothers please come near me so they came near him then he said I am Joseph your brother hey mapeni na kumi walimuuza wakifikiria wamekufa na amekuwa slept ameenda kumbe walifikiri kumbe hawa ndugu walikuwa na kama spring board ya kupeleka Joseph mahali ulidhi wake huko Ndiyo ninasema penina aliye maisha yako wachana na yeye wacha kupeleke zaidi kwa Mungu 
That is the only answer you can have. Let the penitence in your life draw you near to God, not even near in the Lord, so that you can receive your inheritance. They are not there by any mistake. What? My men. Uwana umbo imeadiku hapa atapunda yandiku hapo in a meaning flani. Eh, stima ikienda lazima kuikuwe na kizungu mkuti kidogo lakini sawa. But the Bible says, Bible inasema, mimi ni ju Yusufu, kuna mahali nguwana nata kusoma. Kuna mahali nguwana nata kusoma, ili, ili muone kama, uh, tuone, tuone, eh, Bishop Internet imeenda lakini tuko sawa. Imerudi tena. Bwana siwe sana. This is what we said. And God, <clears throat> this is now the Peninas being addressed by this person. Akasema, but now uh, I am Joseph, I am, and Joseph to his brothers. Please come near me. So they came near him. Then he said to him, I am Joseph, your brother, whom you sold. Whom you sold. Whom you sold. People might have sold you somewhere, but that is the ground God wants to bless you in. Okay, what do you want me to do here? Why, why am I here? What is the reason of me being here? Tia kwa jekuwa, eh, warogoro, nuoro kile hana, na adogo moki, arahu heredia, reuni kwa hana. Hey! Hey, ni mudhuru wa kanitha, ni muzewa kanitha, alipita hapa, akatoa upumusi, hiyo diyo inanisumbua. Baraka zetu, ziko na mungu. Urithi wetu, uko na mungu. Do not be distracted by side shows. Usikue mutu ya kufanya mambo hapa kama sarakasi. Ama kiengei style. Wacha hiyo upuzi hiyo. Ende kwa mungu, nyonya mungu baka usikia mzuri. Toroga yuna oke munga dagi, dagi, dagi huna. The Bible says as I wind up. But now, I am Joseph who you sold into Egypt. But now, do not therefore be grieved or angry with yourself because you sold me here for God sent me before you to preserve your life. Yeah. The Peninas were sent before Joseph, the Peninas were to Mungu wa tume Joseph kule ili ya preserve maisha yao. Kama hange uzi wakati tutu na baba yake na kakoti kama rangi mingi wangekua na nini? Mungu walijua kutakuwa na njaa. Sema amen. Na akafanya iyo iyo sinario iyo muuze yeye manake huu ndio itakuwa mzaada kwenye. And the Bible continues to say, oh hallelujah. And God sent me before you to preserve your apostolate for you in the earth and to serve, to save your lives by a great deliverance. So now it was not you who sent me here. Penina has no power. It is not them who sent them here. It is God who sent Joseph to Egypt for the sake of the brothers and the nation of Israel. Why are we agree? Kwa nini tupigana na kinhawa, tukumi hawa? Na ni makusudi ya mungu. It is God who sent, who sent a Joseph to Egypt for the sake of the nation of Israel. Labda mahali umetupua, utokuwa musada wa inchi wewe. Labda mahali umetupua, utokuwa musada wa nyumba yenyu. Labda mahali umetupua na watu, utakuwa wendi, utakuwa familia yenyu. It's no time to argue and commotion, with, commote with all these people. It's a time to focus on to the Lord. And the Bible says, uh, and God sent me before you to preserve apostolate for you in that earth and to save your lives by a great deliverance. So now it was not you who sent me here, but God has made me a father to the Falao and a lord of all his house and a ruler throughout all the land of Egypt. Hurry up! Go up to my father and say unto him, that says son Joseph, that says son Joseph, that says Saint Joseph. Wale ndugu zako wamekaa wamezuba. Haka noka ni atuwe tiliye. Say my amen. You know Joseph never retaliated. Problem tunakuwaka na yo sisi ni kuerehe liya. Kuerehe liya ni kuru. Ewe pia mungu ya duwe zako. Ilikuwa imebaki kidogo ni yambia mungu diri na ima. Diri na hama na dugu zango. Diri na hawa dugu zango. Na duka amora ke. Makonyole dola shia maguru uguo. Shika amera rushu. Yani meke kiu duguo. Yeah, you know. Lakini mutu wa mungu, wanawaga ino waga hii. No aleitha, sema amen. The problem is wakati unajireheri ya mungu anasema, okay, nawereheri ya, okay, mimi nimetoka basi. Don't allow God to say, I am done because you have taken over. 
I was so bitter on Monday and I was about to curse my two brothers. Lakini kajua hawa ajui Mungu, hana nini. They don't know because we have power to curse and we have power to bless. We are not called to curse, we are called to bless. We are called to bless. And I've nimewasaidia hawa ndugu zangu hakuna mtu hana viatu yangu nimeleta na masuti na t-shirt na mavest nimewapea kabisa. Eh hey, hata walikuwa wamesema because they don't even want to talk to me. And one of them that knows Bishop Gatimu wakasema tuko na namba ya Bishop Gatimu tutatumia yeye tutapigie simu tuseme umetonyaga na 20,000. Na I'm like Bishop Gatimu and hii utoto wakuagi nayo. He knows I cannot deny him anything. Unak ni intimidation ya the peninas so that they can you know they can drift you from your focus. Ni naomba penaina maisha ni mwako usiagi na yeye agwe na Mungu. The Bible says and then kwa baba yangu mwambie niko the reason why the children of Israel came back to Israel, to Egypt, is because the Peninas, ten of them, because Benjamin alikuwa mebaki na bawake kule nyumbani. Lakini hawa kumi walikuwa Peninas kumi. I don't know how many Peninas you have, but whatever Peninas you have, make them as a springboard kumuona mungu zaidi. Wacha ni maliza na hii Bishop. Bishop na Baba Jimmy wanakujaga kwe tunamamadungu. Kuna hile nyumba tunakaa, hiyo ni ushuda yangu sasa. Basabu hiyo Peninas menisikuma sana, baka ni meona mungu na macho yangu. Tuko, tuko kwa nyumba yetu tume, tuko na nyumba nyumba tano nime bishop ameniambia nyumba zangu ni ine ya tano ataombea this time so kuna neighbor yangu pale ile nyumba tunakaaga na ni black black na maumbwa ni kama dada na sister ama dada na brother sasa ile umbwa yake bishop inakunia kwa inakunia inakunia inaku inakunia haraka inakunia unajua mimi mzungu anaishi na umbwa kwa nyumba kwa hivyo mafi sio shida sasa nakuta hii hii hi, inakunia kabisa alafu alafu mainzi zile za green na blue zinakuja hivi mpaka kwa jikoni yetu mama shiwa kikanda chapati na sia chapati nini ya bri eh timi imeanguka <laughs> nikasikia nimeingiwa na ukenya na umwangito na ukarati hii mwanaume na hata sugulika yeye yeah, yeah. <laughs> maana nilijifunza karate nikiwa kijana naweza mkarate sana lakini sasa Tukaenda tu and one days of prayer the January na February tukaendelea Mungu akanipatia mfunuo nikaenda kwa jambo kwapi nikamwambia ke hey bro you know what this pupu is too much man dig it out and you know come on nikaongea kwa America akasema i'm going to de- i'm going to deal with it akafagia kidogo lakini baada ya kupagia kidogo another one week mafi kama sasa dio miki ni kama imefagiriwa sasa ikuni i have pictures i can show you nikaenda kwa yeye na mara ya pili nikamwambia tafadhali toa hii mafi yako sasa sasa nimeingiwa na ukenya hata accident ni ya Kenya. Eh na sisi hatuchezagi wa Kenya saa zingine. Ni Mungu tu anatutuliza. Atuage hao kutika na Yesu. Hai hai aurora. Hao watu kama sio Yesu. Ha. Bwana asifiwe sana. Akipigieni Yesu makofi kama sio Yesu. Eh. Hey. Wengine tunakuwaga mabomu ndani yetu. Tunaizikia mahali tuharaganie. Lakini Yesu ni Bwana. Unajikia na sio Yesu tu ni Yesu na roho wa Bwana. Nikamwambia please can you take care of this I'm going to call it uh, the, the authority because I mean, you know what there are no flies during the winter Hakuna hizo wakati ya uh, nini ya winter sio imemalizana Nikaenda police nikakuta police wa umbre kumwambia there's a neighbor of mine who is letting his dog poop all, all around and he's not able to clear the, the mess I can you know what ako kwake na huko ni kwake hawezi fanya kitu So long as si kwako Akaniambia labda uende kotini upewe order ya yeah, restraining order ubu yake is na ni kwake yako kwake ukuta yako kwake by the way yako kwake lakini umbwa inakuni ya kwao lakini hizi zina zinakuja zi kwetu <laughs> nikaambiwa nikaandikia randro nikamwambia nitahama hii nyumba kwa sababu mtu anafanya akasema hatuna la kufanya enda kwa city of liquid report kwa and, and, uh, minister of health achukuliwe hatua unaenda huko wanalegalega manake ni kwao ona maroli ya mudumu ilo na maimagu kai mato maimagu tutoraga na moyo eh ni ni yani hiyo ni story kubwa sana nilipokuwa nikiomba Mungu akaniletea ndoto nikiagi na huyo mwanaume nikikubwa hivi shapeless kikubwa kishapeless sababu amekula baka nikiagi na yeye na kule kwetu Washington Seattle bangi imekuwa legalized unanua bangi kama penzo kwa duka so long as ya 21 and above nikaona huyu mtu amefuta bangi na kule buduki tunanua kama microphone. Ni mimi tu sina buduki. Hata tunaanza kujipanga tunue kama ya kanisa silaha sababu tunajipanga tujue 
Chairman wetu ni mkali sana. Because it is my right. The second amendment I can have a gun. Mke wangu akisikia hivyo anaona eh hey, usilete gani hapa. Tukuna ruhusa ni mimi niko green naweza pata gani hata kumi. hata bazuka hata ile jidiri tumepewa hii ruhusa. Lakini hakuna gani mzuri kama Yesu Kristo. Hiyo ni gani mzuri ni Yesu Kristo. Sasa nikaota huyu jamaa tukiagi na yeye na mimi nimetoa umoro yote umoro yote kabisa na ukarate yote nataka kumstrike nikaona ametoa buduki ananigoga tua na nimekufa si sijakufa ninasema vile niliona eh hey. alafu gazeti ya Seattle Times ya mdigo Bishop Sugar alikufa kwa sababu ya mavi ya umbwa immediately huyu nikajua ni penina ananisukuma nitoke hapa Nikaenda kwa maombi siku ingine saba na mke wangu na watoto. Tukaomba tukaambia Mungu tupatie nyumba yetu. Tuhame tuende tuwe na nyumba yetu mahali ambapo watoto watasumbuliwa na shetani inaitwa Penina. Tukaomba immediately after seven days bishop, my wife anaenda kwa zero ama kwa Redfin. Anakuta nyumba ya gorofa, rumu sita, iko na swimming pool na by the way bishop utakuja patisa watu kwa hiyo swimming pool. Nilikuwa nimeambia watu kanisani mwetu Next time sitakomboa mahali pa kupatiza watu. Nataka nawaombea nyinyi mpate manyumba ambayo iko na swimming pool. Nikamwambia washirika. Ili tunapatiza watu kwa swimming pool yetu. Sasa huyu Penina, huyu mafia umbwa ni Penina ingine. Na na na, na, na mwenye umbwa ni Penina ingine. Hiyo Penina umbwa na mavi walitukuma mimi na mke wangu tuombe vile hatuobagi tena. So I thank God for that dog pupu na Penina. Maana tuliumbo o tulipoomba kabisa mke wangu anaenda kwa waziri anaona jumbe imetokeza one week ago inauzwa 900,000 dollars mke wangu aniambia hey daddy kuna nyumba imefanywa hapa tufanye kambi weka haraka tulipoweka na tukaenda kuiona nyumba nimeonyesha bishop hiyo nyumba sasa hii hatujahama ninaenda kuhama sasa nyumba ya gorofa rumu sita na huku china ni kama state house hey, na pale kuna sumi mpuri ya buru na hiyo sumi mpuri inachamushwa na gas hata saa tisa unaweza oga Kujeni bishop sasa na vinyasa tuogelee huko haleluya <laughs> Mama dogo kuja na ile ile kuja hiyo yeye hiyo kuja na bike tuogelee huko ni kwangu na maji itaopewa haleluya Wow Penaina mafia ubwa na ujamaa walituma tuombe na familia yetu tumepata nyumba yetu Penaina maisha ni mwako watume upokee kile ambacho haujapokea in the name of Jesus the Christ Haleluya sasa tuko na nyumba, bishop atakuja kuifungua nyumba poa sana. Kwa hivyo kuna penina inaweza kuwa maisha ni mwako, si kwa sababu Mungu anakudharau ili uende ujue Mungu wako kabisa. Ukijua Mungu inheritance yako iko mahali, ni Mungu amewachilia. Kuna watu wataenda biguni waambiwe na Mungu, hii masidi ilikuwa yako, ulikuwa na goja nini? Kuna Mungu ataenda biguni na ambiwe, hii nyumba ya gorofa ilikuwa ya, ulikuwa na goja nini? Haukunijua na uniitishe. Isaya 119 inasema, if you are willing and obedient, you shall eat the good of the land. I want us to know God mapema na tumjue zaidi. Na usidharau penina atakuwa ni spring board ya baraka zako. Sasa nimeandika ripoti nimesema tunahama na tunaenda kwetu. Compound ni mzuri. Na maua mzuri. Gari, garaji yangu ni gari, gari tatu inaingia ndani na ije kuna gari sita. What God can do no man can do. I pray that the peninas in your life are there to make you love God more so that you can springboard to your other revival ya maisha yako. Kwa hivyo usiyagi na penina tafadhali. Dugu zako anaweza kuwa penina, mama yako anaweza kuwa penina, muiruwa hata kutoka penina. Tika ku, don't waste your energy and calories with them. Just focus unto the Lord. Your blessings are not with the penina, they are with God the Father. Praise the name of the living God. I prophesy that whatever penina is in your life, may that penina drive you to love God the more. May that penina push you to receive your inheritance. Ile nyumba unataka ileto katika hali ya kujua Mungu ni nani. All penenas are not there for fun. They are there to make you love God more. The people that know their God, they will be strong. And they do exploits. My number one point, don't argue with the penina. Just go to God. Na ukibarikiwa, usiende kuambia nimebarikiwa. Mulikuwa munafikiria nyamuna gani. Did you know God came and revenged for Hannah? Because watoto watu wa penena, walipigwa kamba, walikufa watu. Maana penina haku, 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 hana haku ongea na penina. Ukibalikiwa, ombea adui zako, waishi miaka mingi, waone vile umebalikiwa. Ukibalikiwa, ombea adui zako. Yesu walisema, buliambiu mpenda wale muna wapenda na wale muna jua. Leo na lete sheria ingine umpia. Penda adui zako. I am purposing to love my brothers as peninas. Waone ni kibalikiwa ninjenge nyumba ya gorofa. Niwe na eh, mwagishuga eh, gated community. It is coming. 
Waone vile Mungu amefanya. Sasa zingine najitabiria nasema nitakuwa na gate to Yule you know, bishop mali alikumwagilia mafuta. Kuna mama mwingine alikuwa naye nipeni na mwingine ninamaliza Isa. Tumetoa mchanga, tumeanza kujenga nyumba bishop alipekea mafuta. Mchanga imetoroka kama roli ya 40. Imemwagwa kwa proti ya mamfrani neighbor hapo. Nime, nimeweka ukuta kwangu. Contractor akaweka mchanga kwa nyumba yangu. Mama mwenye hiyo mchanga ni pasta. Kuna mapasta wengine nimepepinina. Unashindwa ni wako na Mungu wa manini hawa. Hawana roho kama ya bishop wetu. Hatulizagi ni ngara 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 ngara. My brother akapatia namba yake ya simu akasema mwenye kujenga nyumba ni huyu badala peana kwa contractor mchanga imejaa 40 trucks of ro- of rollies ana alipigwa simu na neighbor eh hey, hey, mgoda wa kuyu ni hoteli so akakuja na ndiye akusema anamelete mtu anunue na hawezi nua kwa sababu ya hii mchanga hiyo ni peni na nyingine akanipigia simu akanigoromisha akaniambia yeye ni pasta eh hey, hata picha yake niko naye nikamwambia mama pole sana nisamehe ni, ni contractor amefanya hivyo hapana hapana hii shamba itanunuliwa na ni proti neighbor hapo hivyo next to me nikamtumia ngiri 10 atulize akafikuru sana unatoka kwa wapi america eh hey, ndio araja kwa dalili toro watu wakuka <laughs> naone kipeni na kikukite nilipoenda us akaniambia utanua hii plot kwa sababu mchanga nikamwambia unauza pesa ngapi ati milioni 4 niko ni, eh, milioni siwezi nua mama nilipoenda us akatafuta mtu ya kununua akaambiwa kwa sababu ya hizi nyumba zinanyengo za gorofa hii siwezi nunua hii plot kwa sababu dereva baka mwili nyona kwa dikule ana ndume kule rogogo Nikampiga na mwambie hiyo plot isiponisia hiyo haitapata mnunuzi hizi za nyumba najenga hapa ni gorofa tano na mtu hawezi kubali labda mtu anunue tajiri atajenga magorofa yetu tu, igana eh, na lakini huyo atanunua akasema bishop umesema ukweli nimeamia kuku, nime, nimeamua kukuzia nilikuja kununua hiyo plot from 4 million to 3 million bishop sasa niko na eka moja hapo hivyo pena ina mchanga tena nimepata plot na huyo mama nikamnunulia kuku na nyama tukakuwa marafiki sasa ananijaribu ananipikia kila siku bishop naonya ndio kujia kwa kuku Nani ndio kukujia waku huyo penina amekuwa zawadi yangu sema amen I pray that the peninas in your life will give you more inheritance but don't argue with them I paid 20000 kwa sababu ya mchanga na baada hapo nimepata plot sasa hiyo shamba yangu yote ni 1 acre itaitwa Mwagishuga Stella gated community Peninas are good they drive us crazy drive God the more I pray that the peninas in your life will give you that we need from the Lord in the name of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Mubarikiwe kwa fujo. Amen. Bishop.